In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called finding the initial value in a word problem on continuous compound interest. In this example, we're told that Mr. and Mrs. Miller hope to send their son to college in 14 years, and we're asked how much money should they invest now at an interest rate of 8.5% per year, compounded continuously, in order to be able to contribute $7,500 to his education. And since we are told that the compounding is continuous, we know that our formula will be A equals P e to the RT, where A equals the amount after compounding, P equals the principal, which is the amount that we had started with, E is our constant, R equals our rate per unit time, and T equals how much time has passed. In this example, we know that A, the amount after compounding, is going to be that $7,500 that we want to contribute to the college fund. P, the amount that we initially invest, is our unknown. E is our constant. The rate is 8.5%. So writing that as a decimal, 0 0.085 is our rate. And the time, we know that it's 14 years. So t is 14. And again, we're solving for p, but I can start by multiplying those two values in the exponent and say that that is e to the 1.19. And then to solve for p, I can divide both sides of the equation by e to the 1.19. This cancels everything on the right except for the p that we are looking for. And since I'm not supposed to do any intermediate computations, I plug this expression directly into Desmos, and rounding to the nearest cent, I can see that that place value has a 9 behind it, so I will round up. So the principal of $2,281.66 is the amount that the Millers would want to start with to be able to compound for 14 years and end up with the $7,500.